Oh, and this is the multiplier accelerator interaction. And this is really, really important because in the 1930s, can you remember in lesson 51, I was talking about Keynes and his idea was in a recession, we should increase AD because we could get stuck. If you can remember, we could get stuck at a very low level of output. So very quickly, we draw an AS curve out here and this is AD down here. We could get stuck all the way down here, which would be pretty crazy. So maybe this happened in the 1930s. We had really low AD, but we could produce many, many more goods. So what King said in this situation, what we should really be doing is we should be increasing government spending. And then quite clearly that would lead to an increase in AD. Obviously though, the only problem with increasing government spending is that the government is going to get into more debt. However, this is really important. His argument was by increasing G, you would increase AD and then at the end of the day, you would get more money back, which would pay off, which would pay off the initial amount of money that you borrowed. OK, so how does that all work? Right. It works because of this basis here of a thing called the multiplier. And fundamentally is when the government goes out and spends money, the government will spend money. The people who get that money will then spend that money again. And then they will then they will spend it on someone else who will spend that money again and then they will spend it on someone else and the money will go round and round the economy. So if we're talking about a really, really simple economy with no imports and no taxes, then the following thing is going to occur. So in this economy, we have a thing here called the marginal propensity cons to consume. And the marginal propensity to consume is if we give someone an extra hundred pounds, how much more money will they spend? So here we assume that the marginal propensity to consume is 50%. So if you give someone 100 quid, they will then go and spend 50 quid. They will then go and spend 50 quid, someone else will get that money, and then they will spend 50% of 50 pounds, which will be 25 pounds. Someone else will get that 12 pounds 50, and they will, they will then spend 50% of 12 pounds 50, which is six pounds 25. And so you go on and on and on. So if the MPC is 0 0.5, then we do one divided by one minus the MPC. So it's one divided by one minus 0 0.5 and one divided by 0 0.5 is equal to two. So that is what the multiplier is equal to. So the multiplier is equal to two and the government increases its spending by 10 billion quid. We do two times 10 and we get out of that, we get 20 billion pounds. So that is the multiplier. And he worked out if you put money into the economy, then the likelihood is that you're going to get more money out of the economy. And particularly if you put your money into building roads, where a lot of the money is going to be centered on the UK and you create lots of jobs through that then that's going to be a good thing all around. We increase AD, we're not going to get inflation and everyone's going to be unhappy. Remember the Keynesian AS curve, which we spoke about in lesson 51. Right, so the definition then of, of the multiplier is an increase in either consumption, investment, government spending or exports will lead to a rise in national income, the size of which will depend upon the multiplier. Okay, so the multiplier is equal to two and we increase government spending by 10 billion quid then we're going to get a rise in national income of 20 billion pounds. However, if the multiplier is equal to 10, right? And in this case, we're assuming that people have a very high marginal propensity to consume. So they have a high marginal propensity to consume. So if you give someone a hundred pounds, they then spend 90% of that. So they spend 90 quid. Someone else gets that 90 quid, they get the 90 quid, so they will spend 90% of that, which is 81 quid. And then the next people will spend 90% of the, of the 81 pounds, which will be 72 pounds, something or other. And so the money goes round and round the economy. So in this case, if we put in 10 billion quid, at the end of the day, we're going to get 100 billion pounds out. Now, believe it or not, before Keynes came along, nobody really appreciated that. So no one really thought about the fact if we put some certain amount of money into the economy, then we're going to get more money out. So therefore, why don't we just do that right now? Why don't we just go out and spend more money and then we're going to get more money out of the system? Well, one reason why we don't do it is because, of course, 
as regards to lesson 51 again, we may end up with demand pull inflation. And we don't want any inflation. The other one is if the government gets into too much debt, eventually people become scared of spending money. But we will look at that as we go on through the course. But this, at this moment in time, you need to know that this is the multiplier. You put some money in and you're going to get more money out. So an initial increase in consumption, investment, government spending or exports will lead to a larger rise in national income, the size of which will depend upon the multiplier. Okay, brilliant. Well done, Kings.